What's up everybody, how's it going? In this video, I wanna give you four tips on how to build a business as a software engineer. Now, although these tips have a particular relevance to software engineers, I will concede that they are applicable or valuable even to people who aren't software engineers, because as you'll see, there are some underlying lessons that are just relevant to any business and any business owner. Now, with that said, I think that I am very well positioned to give these tips because as many of you know, I was a software engineer. That was literally my job at Google and at Facebook. And I run a company, Algo Expert, that I've been running for five years now, which is pretty successful. You know, we've got over 100,000 unique paying customers. So I think that these tips are coming from experience. Now, on that note, if you're a software engineer preparing for your technical interviews to get into companies like Google and Facebook, then do check out my company, Algo Expert. Go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on the platform. With that, tip number one is for you to start building. If you are a software engineer especially, you have the luxury of being able to build. You know how to code, which means that you know how to build an app, a website, a prototype, an alpha version, something that is demoable, that you can show to prospective customers. Start building. Don't build tomorrow. Don't build after tomorrow. Don't even build today. Build yesterday. Start building. You don't want to be one of those people, especially a software engineer who has these powers, but who only has ideas and who never executes on them. You don't want to be a wantrepreneur. You want to be an entrepreneur. Start building. You're not going to regret it. Tip number two, you're here to build a business, not to try out every new shiny engineering technology that you might be vaguely interested in or that you might want to learn. No. You're here to build a business. This is not the time to try to learn a new language or a new framework or a new technology. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to learn new technologies as you build your business. You're probably going to run into things that you have to do. Maybe you've never set up like a cloud environment, and so you're going to have to sign up with a cloud provider like Google Cloud Platform or AWS. Sure, and you'll have to learn that, but do not take this business opportunity as a time for you to learn, let's say, React if you're good with Angular. No, that's gonna be a waste of time, it's gonna be a distraction, and if you choose to do that, then just acknowledge that you have chosen not to focus on building a business, you've chosen to focus on learning a new framework. Very important, I think a lot of engineers fall into that trap because they just like learning new things and playing around with new tech, but the thing is, this is a business. Very important. I swear I might sound like I'm being like uh, unreasonable here, but I swear I'm not. You're building a business. You're not here to waste your time with engineering distractions. Now, tip number three, speaking of engineering, do not over-index or over-focus on the engineering side of the business. Is engineering super important? Yes, these days, most businesses are tech companies or have a tech component. So you're going to have engineering, you're going to have coding. The fact that you are a software engineer and you can code is great. You have this superpower that many other entrepreneurs do not have, but it is not the only thing that your business is going to need. You're going to need to do other things. For example, you're going to need to build a very good product. You can have the best code base in the world with the coolest tech, but if your product is garbage, it's not going to sell. Similarly, marketing. Marketing is super important, and I feel like a lot of engineers forget about marketing, or perhaps they're just not good at marketing. But the unfortunate truth is that even if you have a great product with great engineering, if you don't have good marketing, that great product with great engineering will underperform a bad product with bad engineering, but great marketing. It is the unfortunate reality. So don't forget that all these other important components of a business, there is not just engineering. I know that it can be tempting to just code all day. You're building out your product, you're coding all day, you're having fun. But remember, there are a lot of other components to building and running a business. My fourth and final tip might actually be more relevant to non-software engineers, and it's that you do not want to fall into the trap of thinking that adding more engineers to your engineering team is necessarily gonna make your product and your business grow better and faster. 
No. This is a very common misconception, in my opinion, especially in Silicon Valley, where every company raises a ton of funding and hires tons of people, tons of engineers, and you've got you know these companies with dozens, if not hundreds of engineers, but then you realize that you don't need that many engineers. More engineers does not equal more productivity. I actually made a video on this called Brooks Law that more software engineers is not always better. This is actually a known thing in the industry that adding more software engineers to a project or to a team can actually lower the productivity of that team or project. And this is something that I felt at AlgoExpert. Now, granted, AlgoExpert is not the biggest company, it's not the most successful company, we're a pretty successful company. But the point is, we have historically had a team of two and a half engineers. I say two and a half because like, at this point, I'm like half an engineer, I don't spend most of my time doing engineering work, but I have in the past. And we have been able to build a great product, a great company without needing to hire 5, 10, 20 other engineers. Now, of course, some companies are bigger, some companies have more engineering needs, like objective engineering needs where it makes sense to hire more engineers, but I would argue that most companies don't need that many engineers that early, especially early on in the business's life. So just keep that in mind, don't fall into that trap. These are my four tips for this video. To be honest, I've got many other tips that I could share with you about building a business. However, I didn't wanna put everything in a single video. If you did enjoy this video, let me know because I'm thinking about making an entire series about building a business. So I'd love to hear if you enjoy this type of content. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content, Instagram if you like pictures, and I will see you in the next video.